We've built all the functions we need for the scheduler. Now we need to build the master scheduler function, which will call each of those functions and put them together to create a program. So we have our get name, our get date time, the title, and the schedule formatting. And so we're going to build each of these items in turn. So here's the different functions we created or some versions of those. And so let's go ahead and go through each thing and uh, order each function that we need to call. So first we're going to define our scheduler function. So we go def scheduler. And the scheduler does not take any arguments. And so we can just go ahead and call get name. So we can go over here and, and create a variable called name. And then we're just going to call get name. And we've done all the heavy lifting there. And so get name will uh, return back to us a first and last name formatted with each of them uh, capitalized and they're concatenated together. And then we're going to call the get date time. So we can just go date time. date time equals get date time. And again, that will take no arguments. It will get the input and concatenate the date and the time together for us. And then we'll get the title. We'll call that, and that will give it in title format where every uh, word is capitalized. And then we'll send all those things to our uh, format uh, format item, and so we we'll, can go ahead and add our item. Let's maybe do it over here. Oops, we've changed our cell to a markdown cell. Let's put that back. So item equals format item, and it takes three parameters, and so we can see that. Uh, it's the version we have here. The owner goes first. So I'm going to put na uh, name in there. And so what I'm doing, I'm giving a variable that will have a string. And so instead of previously where we saw we called the format item with strings, this is a variable that has a string. So that could be Alton DeRosa. And then I can do the get date time value, which is just date time because I have a variable here that will contain that string. And then the last one will be the subject that they have there. And so we're just calling that title. So you can use any variable name that you want here. You just need to know what is going to correspond to that value. And then we're just going to go ahead and return item. And so item will be the formatted string that we saw that the format item creates. And so now I can replace this scheduler in memory. And let's go ahead and call scheduler. So we go Alton DeRosa. And we'll go ahead and do that on 212. 2020 at 3 p.m. And then we'll give it a title, Python Study Group. And the group word was not capitalized. And then we can go ahead and hit our Enter. And we see that we get the string that has the backslash ends. So if we want to see that printed, we're going to have to do that with a print value. So let's go ahead and get scheduler into our uh, schedule item. So we create a variable there, and then we can run that again. And I'll save you the looking at that, but here we go.
Now we can look at that input echo to the screen with a scheduled item, SCH item. And if we print it, we get our formatted output. So now we've created our entire program by putting together calls to a number of functions, get name, get date time, get title, format item, and we return those all, and that's the way that we can create a program using many functions. I hope you've learned something and enjoyed the course.